Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to learn how you can create MS Forms to capture one survey and send out the notifications in a shared mailbox. So we are not going to use the personal email boxes and uh, as well as we are not going to save the response in a SharePoint list though like uh, with past of our in past of our sessions we did that so I, I'm just going to share the link for those videos so that you can directly refer so in this particular video we would be just creating one form and sending the responses in a shared email box so that your entire team can visible so that can can team can be manager that team can be HR folks so you may decide that based on what uh, shared mailbox you would like to use so I am here in my this MS form dashboard so you can see so let me just reopen it so that you can be knowing that how uh, you can open the forms dashboard so forms over here by clicking that so the first page you land it is a dashboard where you can see all your recent forms so from here we are going to create this new form you and also create a new quiz so we are going to create one simple survey form for this demo and uh, before that as i said because we would be sending out the notifications to shared email box so how to get the shared email box so i would suggest the simplest way of getting a shared email box is to have your site in place uh, that is Office 365 team site and that will automatically provision one mailbox that you are going to use for your uh, group communications. So those people who are owner or member of that mailbox would receive that notifications. So right now I'm just going to provision one site. So if you are uh, uh, watching this as a line manager or a HR then probably you can, prov you can ask for uh, provisioning a team site for you that would automatically have one mailbox i'm just creating one team sites that's that's very simple and right now i'm naming that as hr surveys so this site uh, or uh, the associated mailbox we are going to use for capturing the notifications so i'm just writing my name as group owner doing next and finishing it so it will create that one HR survey site for me and as well as one mailbox. Okay, there's a site and uh, just to verify I have mailbox with this site or not. So I can just go to my mails and you can just uh, try to find out the mailbox in groups. So here is the groups. So I just expand that group and I can see I have this HR survey mailbox. So this was default email. So we are going to use this email uh, for, for mailbox for all the incoming emails from MS form. So I'm just opening that site. The easier way to capture the email address of it, just open this site and click on this hr survey title you would see email address is this one you can just simply copy so we are going to use this email address for sending out the notification from ms form so now let's go back to ms form i am creating a new form and uh, i am titling this form as uh, let's say wfh or work from home feedback survey all right so now you can start adding up the questions so when i click on this uh, add new you got these type of choices where to craft the question so and if you see below that you got these suggestions from uh, some inbuilt template so first question I can just pick up this one and I can select multiple questions as well for how long you have been working from home so this is just a suggestion from template so if you may want to use it you can use it so I'm just selecting two of these questions and just clicking add selected so it automatically added up these two questions for me and the third one I would like to add 
based on my uh, company's question so I'll just uh, close this one because I don't want the template question I can just choose my own one so let's say do you are you willing to continue work from home for next one year in 2020 as well 2021 as well you can just put all your options so I will have just three of these questions in my this WFS survey and from extreme right these three dot you can simply see the settings of this form in the settings you may see who can respond to this form so you may assign like only people in your organization or if you want to like have this anonymous form then you can just simply say anyone can respond options for responses accept responses start date and date whatever you would like to capture uh, with the responses and this response receipts so this is allow receipts for responses after submission and get email notification uh, for each response so you can just enable that but that would send out the the uh, notification when the form is submitted but here we are going to try that the notification should be shared in an email box so that the entire HR team can have a look rather than receiving individual emails so I'm just uh, closing that and in the preview you can see your form Alright, so next step, as I said, we'll be running up this form and uh, we'll be sending out the email notifications to a shared email box. So I'll just go back to my this flow window. I'm just opening my flow. So you can just simply type in flow.microsoft.com. So it will open the flow. You have the dashboard under my flow. You can just simply go to the instant cloud flow trigger I'm skipping because I'm going to choose the next step so now in the trigger I'll choose when the form is submitted when a new response is submitted so this would be my trigger and we need to bind this with our uh, form so this word of form work from home feedback survey and in the next step we have to read out the fields from ms form which we submitted so i'll just read get response details so i'll pick up this action which will give me all the fields in a readable format in the next subsequent step so in form id i have to bind the form id and in response id in the dynamic content i would get response id now here comes the next step of sending the emails in a shared mailbox so here I will be choosing send an email so we can choose send an email notification this one so it will actually send out the email with the uh, flow email address so in, in one of my earlier video I have suggested I have three of the options uh, where you can choose the send email notification from address so one is uh, the, the out of the box one uh, which actually includes some body content as well so I'll put up that uh, video link in my description so that you can also have a look like what a different email option you would like to use for from email address so right now I'm going to just choose this send an email v2 and under this to field we have to like paste the email address which we copied from here the our shared email box address so i'll just copy that and it will give you suggestion so i got this verified and in the subject you can put like wh wfh feedback survey feedback survey response by you can put up the person email address who responded to that survey and in body you can capture the all the details or the all the fields uh, the questions the person has answered so you can 
like you can see in this dynamic content we can see how uh, all the questions there and these are answer to those questions so you can simply put for how long you have been working from home in front of this answer you can just append this one and are you currently working from home you can pick this answer and same way are you willing are you willing to continue the rule of action 2021 yeah, you can just wind up this question so this is how you can build up the body you can simply save this then let me rename it the blue FH survey flow and now we'll go back to our form and we'll submit it so this I have already opened in preview so I can show you how you can open that in preview so by clicking this preview button and now I can submit this option otherwise you can use the form link from the settings you can while sharing this form you can copy this link and open that link as well so for this demo purpose itself so I'm just uh, using that preview so are you currently working from home yes how long more than two months and are you willing yes definitely so when this submit button would be clicked our flow should be triggered so you can see it just triggered and it has done all the steps so i'll just go back to my email uh, box this is hr survey shared mailbox i got this email so now you can see this response feedback survey responded by krishnan sharma the email address of that person and all the questions has been captured in the body so that's how you can record all the responses in a shared email box and uh, as in group of team or line of business manager you can just look at that shared mailbox rather than getting notifications in the personal email boxes so this is one one way of doing it other one could you can just store the all the responses in sharepoint list for that i have already done a video so you can i'll just uh, share that link of the video so you can directly refer it and there are other uh, related videos to ms form which i have done so if you want to capture the attachments with the ms forms how to process those attachments so you may refer those videos as well so i hope uh, this video would be useful for you so that's it for today. Thank you.